Looks like I just found another reason why you should switch to this new smart AI coding agent that not a lot of people are actually talking about yet. It's called Juni and it's built by JetBrains. Unlike many of the other AI assistants that we showcase, Juni isn't just a chatbot that spits out code snippets. It's fully directly integrated within the JetBrains IDE as well as their Android Studio, meaning it fits seamlessly into your workflow instead of disrupting it. Juni understands the structure, logic, and relationship in your projects, allowing you to propose execution plans, write and refractor code, and even run tests directly inside your IDE. You can switch between code mode, where Juni executes tasks for you, and an ask mode, where you can brainstorm, explore ideas, and get explanations. Every change it makes is backed by JetBrains built-in syntax and semantic checks, ensuring that your code stays clean, consistent, and production ready. With Juni, you get more than just an assistant. You get a true collaborator for professional developers. It's powerful, capable, and built for real coding, not just a vibe tool. Juni is designed to handle serious projects while fitting seamlessly into your workflow. Just take a look at this demo where Juni shows off its capabilities through the creation of Metabot, which is a large language model agent designed for quantitative finance. Over a course of a week, Metabot was built entirely inside Juni, with the AI handling tasks like refining trading models, risk engines, as well as backtest pipelines until the results actually balance. But what makes this demo stand out is that Juni wasn't just generating code snippets. It continuously evolved the project, monitored the performance metrics, and kept the workflow stable inside the JetBrains IDE. This is where it was able to push beyond the boundaries because it was not only able to develop this model, but it was able to drive complex iterative coding projects while keeping developers in control. Here is another fun experiment with JetBrains Juni, where it was capable of building a full solitary card game in a single shot, which is pretty impressive because Juni handled the structure and implementation quite smoothly, and it shows how it's able to manage even more complex UI-driven projects. There's so much more to this, which is why we're taking a look at this smart coding agent. So to get started, it's very simple. You can simply go ahead to the link in the description below, and you can click download which will take you to installing it for whatever ID, JetBrain ID you want, like IntelliJ IDEA, PyCharm, ReSharper, WebStorm, and a couple of others. But what we're going to be doing is installing it through IntelliJ IDEA, the ID for Java as well as for Kotlin. So simply go ahead and have that ID installed beforehand. Once that ID has been installed, you can download the extension to that particular ID you want it to be downloaded for. So in this case, I can click on get, which will let me install it for the latest version, which I can then click download. And then I can select the ID that I want it for. So in this case, I want it for IntelliJ IDEA. So I can simply click on that and then I can have it installed within that IDE. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Another way you can install this is directly within JetBrains where you can head over to the plugins and you can simply go ahead and install the JetBrains Juni extension. But afterwards, once you have downloaded it within your IDE, like IntelliJ IDEA, what you can do now is open up the Juni extension, which you can access on the right hand panel within JetBrains. And then it's going to be prompting you to either log in with a JetBrains account or you can simply go ahead and register a new account. Now, like you can see on the top left, we have a new project called Task Management, and we now have Juni ready. All we got to do is click Accept, and we can now work with Juni, where it can delegate tasks with the code mode. This is where what we're going to be doing now is working on building a task management app. Also, something cool to note is that Juni is powered by GPT-5, which is going to bring advanced understanding and reasoning to help you tackle even the most complex coding tasks. This task management application is going to have a lot of different features, but what we're going to do is actually have Juni define the project guidelines. And this is where I can press on this plus sign and I can click on create project guidelines. This is a placeholder, but essentially, I can describe the structure of my application, like what the project structure is, whether Juni should run tests to check 
the correctiveness. And essentially, we're going to have Juni develop the project guidelines based off the description that I give it in natural language. This is where I'm being as descriptive as possible, where I want it to have a task and to do management system where you can edit as well as add different sorts of tasks. You have a sticky note board, you have a note taking functionality, AI features, and much more. So let's go ahead and have Juni, the AI agent, work on building the guidelines for this. So you can see it is going to create the guidelines for this particular task, and it's going to set the structure, which we will see in a couple of seconds. And as you saw live in action, it has now set a predefined list of different project guidelines that it is going to work on tackling, like the AI features that I mentioned, the task, the to-do management, the note-taking features, and much more. Now, if you're good with this, you can obviously start a new task, but you can even start it again if you don't like what it has generated, or you can roll back to a previous checkpoint. Right now, we're in this main base project structure, which it already has reference to. So if you want, you can actually select a certain file and you can ask it to iterate on it further. But since it already has awareness of our overall code base, what we're going to do now is have it work on building out this project. This is where I'm giving it this instruction to follow the project guidelines, and I'm going to reference the guidelines itself, and then I can go ahead and send in this prompt. So on this left-hand panel, you will see the planning phase, and you can see on the right-hand panel all the agents working on tackling this task. So it looks like it has listed out a to-do list of what it's going to be executing to accomplish this overall project. And on the right-hand side, it is going to work on the individual steps. And you can actually get a live stream of what is happening with code being generated live in action so that you can visualize and change certain components if needed. So if there's a certain part of the code that you want to edit, you can actually go back into the chat and ask Juni, could you please work on this? work further or even iterate on a certain error that you may have caught. But what I really like about Juni is that it is impressive with its capabilities on focusing on overall code base tasks where it's going to be able to reference all of the files all at once while keeping context of the overall goal in mind. So there's less hallucination, less token expenditure, and you just need to have the Juni agent focus on all the tasks that it needs. I'm also going to have it focus on generating the React code as well. So we have a good user interface as well as having it use JavaScript. And there's also a human in the loop functionality where you can review through all the different diff edits that have been made so that you get a better visualization of what the AI agent is actually focusing on. And once you approve all the changes, you can then go ahead and have Juni work on running the command of building the entire project. So it looks like it has finished actually completing this task of all of these different guidelines that were given. So let's now go ahead and open up the app. And there we go. In a single shot with the IntelliJ IDE, having it use the Juni agent, I was able to build this task flow app, which looks absolutely amazing, where it has configured the backend logic with the front end, and we have this full stack app. You have a dark and light mode, you have a task list, notes, board, where you can add different sticky notes. So this is where I can simply provide a sticky note. And then I have the ability to actually drag it around, which is something that I had requested. There's also a calendar, which you can actually visualize different events that you have. So let's actually go ahead and add in a task. We're going to create a task. Let's give it something like creating a YouTube video. And then we can give it a random description. I'll give it a medium priority, a category as work, and then let us give a random date as well as a tag. And there we go. We have added this task list, which is now available and visualized within this task list area. Now, the Juni Ask agent is also pretty impressive because I can go ahead and ask something like, what's the best architecture for a task management REST API with user authentication and team collaboration? And this is where the Juni agent is going to be able to use web searching capabilities as well as its own uh, context to provide a relevant answer. And this is actually pretty useful because it has reference and context to your overall code base. And you will get a thoughtful answer which has an intelligent capability to provide a thorough answer. And you can see right now the goals and the constraints of a task management API architecture, the recommended high level architecture, 
And it also talks about the data model, authentication, REST API design. And you can see that it did a pretty thorough job in providing this summary of what is the best architecture. Now, what you can also do is just flip back into the code mode and you can tell Juni that I want to implement this particular architecture and it's going to be able to follow along with the guidelines that was set by the ask agent. It specifically said that it's going to recommend to create a JSON web token authentication. So what we can do is simply have it create this by stating to Juni that use the JWT auth with refresh tokens and create it for me. And I can go ahead and click enter and it's going to work on executing this task based off of the plan that the ask agent had developed. This is the capability of JetBrains intelligent coding agent Juni. This is where you can autonomously automate various sorts of tasks directly within your IDE, which is why I highly recommend that you start using it because it has a lot of different capabilities that many of these other AI agents don't have. And there we go. We have our authentication system that was fully built by Juni. And I can use this demo login to sign in and you can see that it takes me into the actual app itself. Also, another thing is, is that Juni is also available in GitHub. Currently, it's in the early access program phase, which is where you can actually join the waitlist to get access. This is where with Juni in GitHub, you're not just tied to JetBrains at all because you can just install it within your repo. And now it can pick up issues, open pull requests, and even solve multiple tasks in parallel without you ever opening your IDE. So instead of coding locally, Juni can work on any sort of repo that you have through GitHub, keeping everything version controlled and collaborative by default. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. And whatever I've done was just with the coding agent. There's also the ability to work with the database directly with JetBrains. And then you also have an AI chat, which is a plugin that JetBrains also provides. Overall, this is more than just a coding agent. It is smarter, more integrated as a coding companion that truly understands your entire project and workflow. There's so many other features that we haven't even covered. So whether you're navigating complex code bases or planning execution strategies or just looking for something that is context aware, this is a coding agent that will help you make your development faster, cleaner, and more intuitive. So I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the link in the description below as it's super easy to get started and you can easily generate various sorts of apps as well as code snippets for whatever project you're working on. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, Make sure you join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.